Hi guys, good evening. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. How was your day? Um, it was a uh, busy day. Busy day, okay. Is busy, busy. Okay, super. No, it's easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Super. Thank you. Elizabeth, good evening. Can I be in Galaxy A30? I don't know who Galaxy A30 is. <laughs> I'm Ali. I'm a new student. Ah, you're my new student. Okay. Yes. Nice. Nice to have you here. How How's your day? Tell me. How was your day? And it, it was really good because okay. I stay with my family. Okay. That's it. Okay. Super. That's nice. Elizabeth and Kevin, how was your day? Well, uh, I I, my day was um, a tiring day. Mm, tiring day, tell me, why so? Because I, I was uh, a meeting and other meeting and other meeting and other meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I have my my eyes, uh, uh, crazy eyes. Ah, okay. I get. I know the feeling. Uh -huh. I know the feeling. Okay, super. Um, guys, well, welcome. Good evening to everybody. I want to start with the fun activity. So I will send you a little link here. Hold on. I will send you a little link here. That way, you, um, all of you can. Oi, there you go. And I'm going to show you. We're going to have a game. In Spanish, it's called Dos Mentiras o Tres Mentiras y Una Verdad. In English, it's called Three Truths and One Lie. Okay? So I'm going to share my screen and show you an example of what is it that I like. So I came here to this application online. It's a, it's a board, it's like a teacher board. And I click here and I opened up a text and I wrote my three truths about me and one lie. The game is to identify where is a lie. So you have to write three truths about yourself and one lie and you have to share or compartir su pantalla. You have to share your screen with me. And then all the audience, all the classmates, everybody in the class has to guess which one is the truth and which one is a lie. Okay, no, let's guess which one is the lie from the truth. For example, I'm gonna give you my example. My three truths are that I am adopted, that I used to race cars, when I was, that I'm adopted, a, that I was adopted when I was born by a family, that I used to race cars at a very young age, that I have a twin sister that looks exactly like me, but she's not a teacher, and that I am scared of giants, gigantes, even though they do not exist, but I am panicked. I cannot watch movies like Godzilla or Anaconda or Transformers things that are big, I, I am scared. That's like a phobia. Okay, now all of you have to guess which one is my lie. And then you have to do the same thing. That's why I shared the link for this platform. You can do it in Notepad, in a Word document, in Excel, in Paint. I shared you this app online because it's free and it's cool. It has like you can draw and, and include a text, for example, here. Uh -huh. So I want you all to guess. You don't, don't use a race cars. I didn't use to race cars, okay, hmm, maybe. Okay, anybody else? You don't are adopted. Uh, you are not adopted. Uh, you are not adopted. Okay, I am not adopted. Okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else? I have a scary of GM. I, I, I am. am. 
I am scared. I am scared of giants. I think you're not adopted. Okay, um, I'm not adopted. That's what do you think you're, that's a lie. Okay. Anybody else? I think you're not scared of giants. Okay, I'm not scared of giants. Mm -hmm. I haven't a twin sister. Aha, uh -huh. I don't have a twin, who said that? I don't have a twin sister. Jo Joanna. I, Joanna, guess what, yeah. <laughs> I do not have a twin sister. I am adopted. I used to race cars when I was very young. This hair salon called Tony and Guy used to sponsor me in El Havali. Oh, long time ago. Um, oh, wow, teacher. <laughs> I was the fast and the furious. <laughs> <laughs> but before. And now, and I am scared <laughs> of giants. I cannot watch movies like King Kong or Anaconda or gorilla movies, big animals or big, because I get scared. And it's a phobia. And I know that giants do not exist, but I am scared of giants. Uh -huh. Okay, so this was my exercise. Now it's your turn. Okay. Who wants to share the screen? I'm going to stop sharing mine. Okay, who wants to do it? Who wants to get started? That was me. Who's ready? Tienen que hacer lo mismo que yo. You have to do the same like me. In paint or in word or in your cell phone. Tres verdades y una mentira and we have to guess. I'll give you a couple minutes so you can work on, on, on your Yes, case. yes, okay. Let me know when you're ready. Whenever you're ready, you can share your screen, okay? Whoever finishes first can share the screen. Make it difficult so we can guess. Teacher. Yes. I use the application mm -hmm. and I write, but I don't know how I share with you. Uh, sure. Yes, in oh. uh, in your symbols, in I'm sorry, in your commands in Zoom, there is a yes. a window. It says okay. new uh -huh, share screen. Uh, yes, but I can go ahead and do it. Oh. Hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. You can do it. 
Oh, this, chair. this one. Mm -hmm. you, chair screen. Uh, it's a little folder. Uh, it's a little okay. folder with an arrow. There you wow. go. Wow. <laughs> Teacher, I have an, uh, an answer for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, for the moment, I I can't use my computer, so I'm in my cell phone. If I want to share with you my answer, mm -hmm. how can do this? Sure, I'm going to send you. There should be a button with a folder, I'm going to say in green, that says share screen, where you have chat, or if not, okay. send, send up, uh -huh, there should be a button that says compartir pantalla if it's in Spanish, or share screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see your... Um, okay. Can you read it? You can read yours. Yes. Go ahead. I have one child. Okay. I'm a lawyer. Uh -huh. I like frog mm -hmm. and I am 25 years old. Okay. Guys, everybody, you have to guess. Which one is the lie? <gasps> I think she you, doesn't like frogs. You don't like frogs. <laughs> Me too. I think she doesn't like frogs. It was easy. Super no, easy. I, I have a mistake. Yo, uh, no. How I Can say? I, uh, I have a mistake. Uh -huh. a mistake. She... I put two, two lies. Ah, two <laughs> lies. Ah, okay. Cool. <laughs> but you do not like frogs, right? That is one. I hate. I hate ah, okay, okay. frogs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the other one is. What's the other she one? She doesn't have children. She doesn't have children. Hmm. Maricela? Uh, I have one child. Ah, okay. So, no, it's not yeah. that one. No. Maybe. She is not 25 years old. Okay. Oh, Kevin says that yes. you're not 25 years old. Uh -huh. It's too sad. Yes, I'm not. <laughs> You're not? Uh, I'm, see, I'm not, no. Aww. Okay. Okay, first. Yay, we guessed too. So you don't like frogs, you dislike frogs, you hate them, and you're not 25. You are? Teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. The, the, no. You're 20. It, You're 20. It, Peter, how I say bienvenidos. Ah, okay. Uh, well lived. Well lived. I'm 30, 38 years old. 38 well lived years, like this. I'm going to write on the chat. 38 well lived years. Mm -hmm. I think um, I like frogs. <laughs> no, she doesn't like frogs. She hates frogs, she said. <laughs> So that was a lie too. So she wrote two lies and two truths. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's okay. It was interesting. <laughs> Anybody else wants to share? Okay. Somebody else? Thank you for sharing. I stop share. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, I have here. to stop share. Thank you. What's fun? Okay. Nice. Anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to share? Luis, Elizabeth, Margarita, Well, I don't, I don't okay. finish yet. Okay, go ahead, share. Uh huh. Let me see. I have five times. Mm -hmm. Margarita, share your share your 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 screen if you want. Or you wrote them on a notebook, or you did on paper. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Antonio. Uh, let me know when, you, when you see the screen, please. Okay. Okay, we will. Okay, we are looking at your screen right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one, I hate quesadillas. I love meat. 
I have a parakeet and I like fast cars. There's one lion, three uh, true statements. Okay. Um, I, don't I don't know the parakeet. meaning of parakeet. <laughs> yes. It's a bird. Oh, oh really? really? Parakeet. Wow. Um, okay. The lie is. Lie. You don't like fast cars. Lie is. You hate quesadillas. Mm -hmm, maybe you hate quesadillas. <gasps> but that's that you you think that's the lie or that's the truth? The lie. That's it's a one lie. lie. It's the lie. Okay, which which is the final uh, decision about that statement? <laughs> Let's check out what everybody else thinks. Okay, anybody else thinks he there's another lie there? I think don't like fast cars. Okay, Jesse says you don't like fast cars. Okay, well, I actually don't like fast cars <gasps> that much. Okay. Because I think they, they, they can be like very dangerous. And, uh -huh, they are. And, at, and actually my mom uh, suffered from a, from a car accident uh, mm -hmm. years ago, so I don't really mm -hmm. like uh, very very fast cars i think that uh, a normal one it's completely and perfectly perf functional so uh i do love meat i do have a parakeet what's the name I of your parakeet what's the name of your parakeet it's called timoteo timoteo okay yeah. interesting super yeah. okay <gasps> i thought you hated quesadillas that I thought that you loved quesadillas and that that was no, actually. I hate them. I know. I know that 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 makes me like like thirty percent less Salvadoran. But yeah, <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like them. Well, I am going to confess that I don't like Loroco, so I that makes me. <laughs> uh, no, so I can't I, believe it. <laughs> I love I love the flavor, but I cannot see the Loroco in a. In a pupusa, for example, I cannot see. I love the taste, but I cannot the flavor of you know the loroco, but not to see it and to chew it. I don't like that. That's, like that, my little that's kid. Not, no. That's not so so, no. so heavy <laughs> or, or so uh, severe. I know people that hate avocado. That's <gasps> a thing. Avocado, so delicious. Yeah, I don't like that people. <laughs> 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 okay, that was interesting. By the way, talking about fast cars, that was I used I told you guys part of my my game that I used to race cars and the reason why I stopped racing cars is because my friend best friend who induced me to racing cars, he died coming back from El Jabalí to San Salvador in a car in a tragical car accident. So that's the reason why I stopped racing in oh. his honors. So that's the reason why I say Fast cars are super dangerous. They, they can be. Yeah, yes. I used to yeah. like them. Sorry. Also, but then there yeah. comes the, the that, consequences. Yeah, the consequences. Okay, but thank you for sharing, Antonio. It's really interesting. Anybody else wants to share? Anybody else? Go ahead, share your screen. Just do it. Feel free. Who's ready? Hey teacher, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Share your screen, Ellie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, three true and one liar. Okay. Okay. I have two kids, one two years old and other eleven years old. I have traveled all over Central America for work. My husband is 23 years older than me, and I was a dancer at the university. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Difficult because they all look like true. Okay. They all look like they're true, but it's difficult to guess. Guys, what do you think? Help me, help me. I think the lie is... I give up. Uh, oh, you don't have traveled all over Central America for work. Mm, could be. Okay. okay. 
Other? Mm -hmm. Someone else? Husband doesn't have. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Uh -huh. so, husband doesn't have. Doesn't. 23 years older than she. Ah, okay. Maybe your husband is not 23 years older than you, says Pierre. Mm -hmm. I think that yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, Kevin? I think yes. Her husband is 23 years older than her. Her, okay. Than her. Uh -huh. Than her. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I think it's the last one. She was a dancer at the university. Okay. Which one it is, Ellie? Tell us. My husband is 22 years <laughs> older than me, not 23. <laughs> <laughs> Just by one year old. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have count. That that that's very tricky. That was very really tricky answer. Yeah. Yeah, tricky answer. It 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 is okay. like made to be like very hard to guess. It is. It is. Okay. I I yeah, I have traveled all over Central America for a while because I was in a Central America project. Ah, okay. So nice. Uh -huh. this, this is this is true. Ah, okay. And oh. I was a dancer at the university too. Right now, no. <laughs> she made us fail on purpose. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, thank you for sharing, Ellie. Anybody else ready? Anybody else? No? Okay, well, if no one else wants to participate, I have another activity for today, okay? So that was fun. It's that's called Three Truths in One Night. And you can use that application that I shared. It's called app.classroomscreen.com whenever you wanna project something on a meeting or something. It's a very cool app that has a lot of things that you can do online without downloading it, okay? So I hope it was a fun resource. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen because our topic for today is according to our agenda, infinitives. What do you know about infinitives and gerunds? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Infinitives and gerunds for purpose. What do you know about them? What are infinitives and what are gerunds? What are they? Do you guys know? They both uh, talk about purpose. Okay. But what is an infinitive and what is a gerund? What are both, infinitive and gerund? Do you know? It's okay if you don't know, we're gonna find out and we're gonna learn together. With, okay? with, inf with infinity, we have to use uh, the particle to and a verb uh, in, in its base form. Okay, yes, and with a gerund? And with the gerund, we have to use uh, for mm -hmm. and and ing and okay very good that's right so we're gonna learn a little bit on the following with the following video and then we're gonna do a exercise and we're gonna learn a little chart that i'm gonna share with you okay so we have a better okay. vision of what an infinity versus a a gerund is okay okay tell me join us in this can you listen to the audio or no i don't think no so. okay yes no I didn't click on share sound. Okay, there you go. Let me go back. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. We're about to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. 
Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Example, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails, nor I use my computer for send emails. Okay, so based on this little explanation, now can you tell me what's the difference between an infinitive and a gerund, please? Mm -hmm. Do you use ing? Okay. Yes. With one, you use what to add ing, and what just with the regular in the normal tense in the infinitive. Tell me. What words? What indicators? With gerunds, you use what? And with infinity, four. you use what? Mm -hmm. Two? With which one do you use two and with which one do you use four? You use with two with, with two. Uh, mm -hmm. infinitive and you mm -hmm. use um, four with the gerund. Very good. Uh-huh. And the meaning will always be the same, right? According to our yes. video. Mm -hmm. So yes. it will always mean the same with the differences that you use it specifically with, for example, with two. Give me an example with two plus a verb. Make an example. I have to I clean the house. Clean. Okay. You cannot say I had to clean the house. Okay, very good. Or I had for cleaning the house. So you cannot use for in this case. You use to plus a verb. I had to clean the house. Very good. Uh huh. What about for? Mm -hmm. I use a comp I use the computer for working. Okay, I use the computer for working. Very good. Mm -hmm. Or I use a computer to work. It's the same. I use a computer yes. to work and I use a computer for working. working. Very good. Mm -hmm. I have a little chart here and this is more for reference for you guys. Okay. When we can use, for example, some verbs that are only followed by infinitives. Okay. When are ones some just followed by gerunds. So there's like a couple of rules for you to start getting the hang of when to use infinitives and when to use gerunds. Nonetheless, it is not important right now for you to master or know them all at once. What I'm interested in the most is for you to practice them. Reason why, I will share this chart with you later on. But I want us to go to the exercise that goes along with the video first. Okay? Let me go back here. So let's do the exercise together. Okay. So this exercise is 2.1. So let's do the two point. I'm sorry, it's 2.2. So we're gonna do 2.2 exercise together. Okay. For example, okay. satellites are used to study the world's weather, to studying the world's weather, or for to study the world's weather. What do you guys think? The first one. To study the world. One. Number one. To study, because you cannot say yes. to study or for yes. to study. You cannot use four and two together, never. It's other, okay? Four okay. plus ing or two plus a verb in the normal way without being conjugated, okay? To study the world's weather. How do you say this word? Say it, guys. Satellites. Very good. Satellites. Sat sat satellites. Uh -huh. Satellites. 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 What about this one? Not robots, that's Spanish, it's robots. 
Robot. 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 Remember that English is very fresa. It's very sassy. So it's robot. robot. When you have an O in a word, there's an imaginary O. So it's robots. 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 The same way you say no, you don't say no, you say no, like an imaginary U or so, okay? So robots are sometimes used for perform, to performing, to perform to performing dangerous or tasks. for performing. Mm -hmm. For performing. For performing. Excellent. For, because two, you cannot use two with ing. You use with four. Mm -hmm. For performing. So robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Very good. Mm -hmm. the last one. Then, and then, that, so it's the last one, this one, okay. Number three, you can use a cell phone to send text messages, sending text messages or send text messages. You need a connector there Number two. to send a, a direct action. You use two also for direct actions, to send text messages. Very good, excellent. Number four, people use the internet for making travel reservations, for make travel reservations, or making travel reservations. For making travel reservations. For making travel reservations. Very good. Uh -huh. Is it the second? For make? For make? No, because remember that four will always go with ing. For making, mm -hmm. for cooking, for swimming, okay? So it's four plus ing and two with a regular verb. Mm -hmm. DNA fingerprints is used to identify criminals for identify criminal or to identify criminals. To identify criminals. The first one. The first. 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 Yes. first. Mm -hmm. To identify criminals. Very good. Uh -huh. Number three is tweaking. Aha, uh -huh. to identify criminals, to identify criminals. Aha, uh -huh. the only uh, difference is that you have to... Double M has the third one. Uh -huh. So and it's the just a spelling, the spelling of criminals. Mm -hmm. Identify criminals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just a spelling. So sometimes that can happen in exams that you're going to feel tricky because sometimes it, the spelling is incorrect. Or it looks the same, but maybe it's something different. There's like some confusing words in English. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true. Many of them, many. Like bear and like bear, beer, bird. Like there's a lot of words that are very confusing for a lot of you. City Teacher, roms. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. By the way, uh, can you tell me uh, um, how I say beat, beat, you know what, what, what I mean? <laughs> yes. I don't know what. There is, let me, let me use this resource, the fun resource, this one. Okay, let me use it. When you have, uh, what do I do? Let me close it. Uh, okay, when you have, this is like to go to the beach. What do you yeah. do for it not to sound like la mala palabra, the bad word, it's to extend yeah. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> so you say, beach. You say be don't worry, don't worry. You say be but very long. Be 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 first one be and the other beach. one and what happens between a bad word and a, and this word is that yes. when you say a bad word it goes very uh, direct and and straightforward and short so the sound the sound is ah, long okay. because you have two vowels so it's beach but and then beach. it can also happen with this one see like una hoja de papel like a sheet of paper it can if you say it in a different way it can also sound a bad word so what do you do you extend the sound so you say the same sheet of paper a sheet of paper yeah. or beach because if you say short, it's a bad word for both. Ah, uh, okay, one, okay. One, one thing. Yes. In the case in the, uh, of the first uh, word, mm -hmm. when you say the, the, the curve. For beach? There's uh, T instead of the C-H. Ah, yes. So it, it, it sounds like 
like <clears throat> a little bit different. <clears throat> yes, it does. What happens is that when people are learning a second language, they don't ident they don't use the T. So even if they don't use the T, uh, it sounds like a bad word. Another word that can sound like a bad word and you have to be very careful is this one. So people say it as a bad word when you pronounce it because it could be like the bad expression, but it's actually focus. 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 But what happens when you say it differently? It sounds like yes, the bad word. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so all those three words are tricky. So when it's beach, remember the beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, a sheet of paper. Okay, a sheet of paper. Sheet. And the other one's focus. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, because if not, it sounds like a it sounds like a bad word. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Okay. It sounds like a bad. It can sound like a bad word. Okay. okay. Super. Okay. Mm, okay. And the last one, by the way, CD ROMs still exist? I didn't know. <laughs> CD ROMs are used storing an encyclopedia for stores an encyclopedia or for storing an encyclopedia? The last one. Excellent. Yes, Thank you. For storing. for storing. Very good. And if we click submit, hopefully we get all of them correct, right? Yay. You got a 10. Super. Excellent. Great job, guys. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to do a little worksheet and I'm going to pair you up. I'm going to send you a worksheet that I want you guys to work together. Same thing, share your screen and work together uh, while pairing up. Okay, so Jamie, just give me a minute so I can look for the worksheet really quick and give it to you. <clears throat> Here you go. Okay, I'm sending it to you on message for everybody to be able to open it up. And also, I'm going to make the groups right now, okay? There you go. Please accept the invitation. I sent you the link so you can open up one from the group. You have to do it as a group. The idea is for you to practice and open the screen, practice, okay? And I'll see you in a bit. Okay, did you receive the link that I sent you guys? So you can open up the worksheet? Yeah, I got it already. Okay, it's a little quiz, okay, okay. on infinitives. Uh, just one uh, question. You uh -huh. want us to submit this sheet or? Um... Just to do the exercise. Now, the answers is at the bottom. So to just tell me, give me the score, okay? So don't look at the answers, just do the worksheet together first and then just go to the next page because it comes with the answers. Okay. And then check on your answers Uh huh. Okay. to get a final score. Mm -hmm. Sure. Super. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. You've got it already, Luis. One of you can share your screen, that way you guys can. Okay, I will. Okay, okay. I... Uh, I can see the link. If somebody uh, shares the screen, you can resolve it together. There you okay. go. See my, you see my screen. Okay. 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 It's okay. Be easier. Okay. To uh, enough um, getting or get or is getting enough sleep is very important for good health. Oops. 
Uh, get enough. Is getting enough. Get sleep. Is enough. Getting enough. Getting enough to sleep. Getting. For get enough. For getting is for it's important. It's very important for getting. It, no, it, it, the the words is in the in the uh, is the first. Very. Getting enough sleep is very important for good health. Or oh, get enough. Or oh, is getting enough? Maybe B. Okay. I think it's B. B. Yeah. Okay. I don't hear you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when you open the. Who is sharing the screen? The Some, one of you has to share the screen. I'm sorry that I interrupt. Someone has to share the screen, okay? Like the other groups are, one is sharing the screen and you can all do the exercise together. On the last page, you're gonna find the answer so that way you can get the score. What was your score at the end, okay? Good luck. So what you can do is just highlight with the highlighter, the PDF highlighter, just highlight the answer according to the group. Everybody can see the... Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I love to, to drink. A cup of tea in the early afternoon. I love to drink a cup of a cup of tea in the early afternoon. Yes. yes. Oh, uh, teacher. Yes. Coach. Yes. Uh, we we have we had to to here uh, mm -hmm. up up loud or no, no, no. just do it just do it and on the second page you're gonna see that. When you finish the exercise on the second page of the PDF, you're going to have the answers. So check on the answers to check on your score. What was your score, okay? okay. It's just an exercise, don't worry. Mm -hmm. More okay. an exercise for you to practice. Okay. Thomas, Thomas usually... Three yeah. letter C. C. Uh, are you all, well, you all agree with, with, with that answers before I continue? with the test. Wait, the first one, no. I guess no. that is a letter B, reading. The first one. First one, okay. Yeah. Who else thinks can be the, the letter B? Uh, the floor could be to drink. I'm not sure, but. I love. To drink. I love to drink a cup of tea. In the early if, afternoon. Well, let me see. Uh, I remember, but when you use two bears, uh, you should be used uh, to your your right. If uh -huh. I remember two. that, when you two. use two two bears, two bears to have the difference between one and the other one. And the other one, yeah, you're right. But okay. Okay, so we all agree in the number four to to pick to letter in the A. Four. Letter yeah, A the to drink. Uh -huh. okay. I love to drink. Yeah. Okay, number five. Thomas usually watches to watch or watching TV after he gets home from school. I thought watches letter A. Yeah, I, I, I think the letter A. Okay, number six. I really dislike A work B, a, work C work on holidays and weekends. What do you think, guys? Dislike. I, uh, I thought a. Uh, letter letter A uh, should be letter B. I really dislike to work. I really dislike to work, uh huh? Right. Letter B. Uh, yeah, letter B. Um, okay. Number seven. Uh, A was. And 
Steven, Steven dislikes to dry, giving or dry. So dry. he usually it's takes dry. a bus to work. Is the Steven dislikes to dry. No. To dry. To dry. To dry. Hey. Hey. I yeah. think to dry is correct. Or hey. Dry. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Eleven. I like, I like to cook, cook or cooks, but unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. A, to cook. A, a to cook. Yes. What, what? I'm sorry, but my kid a. is screaming. <laughs> a. Oh. a, to cook. A, uh -huh. I like yes. to cook. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, 12, I'm sorry. Uh, to swimming, swim or swimming at this beach is not allowed after sunset. Swim, swim. Letter swim. B. B. Swim and at this beach is yeah. not. Remember, beach. beach. No, no, no. At this beach. Ah, beach. Because if not, beach. it sounds like the bad beach. word. Uh -huh. Beach. <laughs> it beach. beach. Have to extend no. the sound. No. No. Okay. <laughs> For me, the letter B. B. Yeah. B. Dries. For the third person. Mm. But he is dislikes. Dislikes. Yeah, okay, okay. Dislikes. To drink. Uh -huh. To dry. To dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number 12. 12. No, number 11. 11, 11. I like, I like. but unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. I like. Letter A. I like to cook, but, but unfortunately, I'm not very good at it. And sometimes, it's, okay. it's, if possible, maybe it's B. I like cook because I like is not necessary to put two. Mm. If you're doing the action directly, yes. Like if you're yeah. doing the direct action, I like to cook. Um, because if oh, you don't oh, 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 it, oh, is, oh, is when you use a, 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 a cooking or, or something. What happens is that it's, an, it's a direct action. It's something that you actually do with your hands. Okay. So you need a di for direct, always for direct actions, you use two, always. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So Thanks. it's to cook. I like to cook. Uh, to cook. Okay. Number A. Okay. And direct 12. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh, have the, the, the answer. Yes. Yes. The answers. What was your score, the, 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 Yes. Check your the, answers the, and the scores. Uh -huh. Okay. Number um, 15 is a correct. The, the, the leader, the... Um, we, have, we have doubt leader with... C, leader B. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have doubt with, uh, with the 15 question. Uh, do you exercise? Which one? This one. Do you exercise or do you exercising? Do you exercise? Do you exercise? Yeah, exercise. Mm -hmm. Do you exercise? exercise. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So I. If you have like maybe there, like I sent you guys a chart. Do you like exercising? There's like a couple of words that you use always with ing. Do you, for example, do you like exercises, exercising? Do you hate exercising? Or do you like? You need something there that tells you for okay. you to add the two. If not, do you exercise? Okay. It's not do you exercise. Do you ex? Mm -hmm. No, it's do you exercise. Yes, but uh -huh, for you to, to do with IND or to exercise, you would need to have like. Do you like to exercise? Pero como no está like, no hay un, un indicador, there's no yes. indicator. That's the reason it's just mm -hmm. exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Okay. So. 
but I I I didn't check the okay. because you you said she could but but it's an it's an action right yeah it's an action but 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 you're not defying uh the i i Most guess a little bit be... it's letter c swimming for me it's, it's c and for uh luis too okay i agree with you i agree too <laughs> okay <laughs> 13. jennifer okay. wants a to visit b visits c visits visit. her friend in san francisco next week to visit letter a letter, yeah. letter, a, letter, letter a to visit yeah okay 14 uh i letter a to drink letter a drinking c drinks one or two cups of coffee uh, c is good <laughs> 15 is b is good Yay. Uh, um, I'm sorry, sir. Wait a minute. It's correct. The, the C, C is good. We okay, we good. only we, we yeah. only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven good and nine bad. Ooh. So. We, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven. No, pero. Uh, 44. 44. No. 44. No. 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 It's study more. <laughs> but remember, girls, but remember that this exercise, it, it's just a general, you know, it doesn't, it's not really, it's not only the topic that we were going over today just with purpose. It's actually everything. It's gerunds in all its ways, okay? And infinitives in all. So you did really good not to know all the rules regarding gerunds and infinitives. So don't worry, okay? But you did really good. It was just an exercise. Okay. Okay. Don't thanks. worry. Don't worry. It's just an exercise. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I'll take you back to the main screen because it's time. Hi guys, well, welcome back. I know it was a very fun exercise because it covered, like I was telling some of you, it's not only what we just went over today with two and four, but it's gerunds and infinitives in general. So this was just an exercise, okay, for you to take a, a glimpse of what gerunds and infinitives are. Okay, so this was a quiz. It was a very difficult quiz. It was very tricky, yes. okay? So yes. it's okay, yes. we had a couple of mistakes. Then again, in grammar, it's all about exercising. The more exercises you do, the yeah. more you get the rules and the hang of the topics, okay? And you, okay. Are, and, and that's how you improve in English. So don't worry, it was just an exercise. I hope you had fun. It was a great week this week. Thank you so much okay. for joining. I will see you next Monday, same time and same place, okay, guys? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye, guys. See you next time. There is a question.